Welcome to the Woozing The Art of Balance tutorial video. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Woozing The Art of Balance Economy Pack. So, we have our 36 card deck, our rules booklet, an inkjet printout of the PDF game board, and a number of tokens. While we could use almost anything that would fit on the element spaces of the game board, such as pennies or poker chips, I like quarters for their size and weight. The box set includes a printed game board and 25 custom tokens. In the deck, there are seven cards for each element and one dragon card, which we'll discuss later. When you play a card, you have three choices. At the top of the card is an element. You can place a token on that element. For example, you can play a fire card and place the token on the fire space. Alternately, you can spend or remove a token from an element to place a token on the created element. So you can use a fire card to remove a token from the fire space and place one on the earth space. As a final option, you can spend or remove a token from an element to remove a token from the destroyed element. So you can use a fire card to remove a token from the fire space and remove a token from the metal space. However, a play cannot be made that would remove a token that is not present. So you cannot play a fire card to remove a fire token and a metal token if a fire token and a metal token are not present. The dragon card is played immediately when it is drawn and causes all the tokens on the board to shift one space to the right. So the tokens on fire go to earth, the tokens on earth go to metal, the tokens on metal go to water, the tokens on water go to wood, and the tokens on wood go to fire. In a solitaire or cooperative game, we are trying to balance ourselves in the universe. This means having an equal number of tokens in each element and either one of each card in our hand or no cards in our hand. We lose if at any time an element gains six or more tokens or if we run out of cards to draw before winning. In this version of the game, the deck is not reshuffled. We need to set up the board. We do this by drawing a total of five cards from the top of the deck, one at a time. For each card, we place a token on the element it creates and remove a token if one is present from the element it destroys. As we do this, we discard the cards. If the dragon is drawn, it is set aside and a replacement card is drawn. So we start with a fire card, which creates earth and destroys metal. Since there's no tokens on metal, we simply place the token on earth. We now draw an earth card, which creates metal and destroys water. Again, we have no tokens on water, so we place one on earth. Quickly, metal creates water. Water creates wood. And finally, Wood creates fire but destroys earth. So we place the token on fire and remove one from earth. Next, we draw five cards to create our starting hand. If we draw the dragon, we put it aside. Once we have our starting hand, we put the dragon back in the deck and reshuffle. Since this deck is stacked for demonstration purposes, We'll skip that part. Now we have a bunch of fire cards, so we'll play one and place a token in the fire space. Once a card is played and a token is placed, the card is discarded and a new one can be drawn if desired. There's no requirement that a card be drawn, but if a card is not drawn, you'll be playing with one fewer cards for the rest of the game. We'll choose to draw a card. And we'll play a fire card, but this time we'll spend a fire token to create an earth token. So the universe is balanced, but our hand is not. We will therefore choose to draw a new card. And looking at what we have, we will play a water card to create a water token. 
we draw another card and we get the dragon. So the dragon is discarded and we move the, the tokens from the fire space to the earth space. The tokens from the earth space to the metal space. The tokens from the metal space to the water space. The tokens from the water space to the wood space. And the tokens from the wood space to the fire space. We now draw another card and looking at what we have, we will now play an earth card to place the token on the earth space. We draw another card and now we play a wood card, this time spending a wood token to destroy an earth token. So the universe is back in balance with one token on each space and we have a fire card, a metal card, a water card, and an earth card. If we draw a wood card from this heavily stacked demonstration deck, we win. And look at that. What are the odds? In a real game, not as good. So that's how to play Wu Zing Art of Balance Solitaire. Next, we'll explore cooperative and competitive games. Happy gaming until then. <laughs>